to make the door jim you're going to need about six meters of webbing uh, about 14 inches of uh, PVC pipe and about two inches of pipe insulation. Mark out two lengths of six inches for the pipe and an additional two inch for the door jam. You should now have two six inch lengths that are going to be used as the handles and a two inch length which will be used as the door jam. Make sure that you sand these down to get rid of the rough edges. With the insulation pipe, just cut a two inch section, which is gonna go there to protect your door with the door jammer. Now that you've got the PVC pipe and the webbing, you're just gonna push one of the handles, it's the webbing through the handle. You may need a pen or a pencil just to kind of make sure it goes through. Uh, you can use rope, as I said before. Okay. So just make sure that you end up kind of pulling a, a particular length after it. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a double knot afterwards. So to do the knot, make sure that you've pulled enough webbing or rope through the PVC pipe. And now get the webbing, loop it through and push the pipe through. And then push the pipe through again so it creates a double knot. And so hopefully it won't go anywhere. Before you do the same to the other side, get your two inch bit of plastic which will act as your door jam, push it through and also just make sure that you've got your pipe insulation around it as well. Once you've done this, you can put the handle on the other side. Now you've created your handles for your door jam, you're going to take the two 50, um, 50 centimeter webbing or rope that you've cut previously and thread it in between the pipe again. Again, if you need to use a pen or pencil just to push it through. Okay, once it's through, you're just gonna be tying it into a loop. So just to kind of a, a little loop and just tie it across. Then when you've got that knot in there, Pull it around and so that it's hidden underneath the pipe or in the pipe. Awesome. Okay, now do the same on the other one. So now your door gym should have two handles with two leg straps. Cool. Now let's go and try and test it out. Awesome. Your door gym now should be ready to use. Make sure when you're using it, use it on the door that won't open when you're kind of pulling weight on it. Okay, now you can use the door gym for a variety of pressing and pulling kind of exercises. So looking at benching, you can turn it over and look at rowing. You can also lower body with your leg straps by putting your feet in and then doing crunches. <laughs> 